Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth and today is a big day because I'm up to a 6 win streak again and the last two times I've been on a 6 win streak I've lost. So, who are we going to play as for this momentous occasion? I have been trusting in random, I feel I still have to. This may be a problem. Ah, Kane. Kane, Kane, Kane. And we got the seller. The seed is RRKF Z7QV. So we're going to get a lot more consumable drops, that's the plus point, and that's that's all the plus point. Kane has slightly better base damage but slower fire rate. Good start. Luckily it only did half a heart. And actually getting Swallowed Penny is pretty good. But yeah, I have to make sure my play is on par. I was tempted to just play as Azizel or Isaac to be honest, just so I got that ape off, ape off my back, is that the expression? Monkey, monkey off my back. Why we gotta pick on the apes? It's it's just generic monkey. So yeah, I'm hoping I don't even I don't care beyond this point where the streak ends, just that it gets past six, just because the last two times I've had a six streak, something has gone wrong. Like for example the dog barking. Where is my item room at? Not here, although this is actually a fairly easy room because these guys don't really attack. They walk into you and push you, that's it. Right, what we got? Oh! Wow! That's really, really good. So now we have options. Well, we don't we don't have there's options, we have options. You know what I mean? So we've got slightly less fire rate than Isaac, but now and one less HP, but we're essentially Isaac. I'll come back to that if I get hit again, or if we're up to the boss, just in case it's the haunt. Yeah, so now we have the power of the reroll. But we also have a better drop rate, I should point out. So although we have some negatives compared to Isaac, we do have one rather large positive. We've got a bigger chance of stuff paying out, vending machines, uh, not vending machines, you know what I mean. Um, the, the beggars and whatnot. But we also have more chance of consumables, so there's less chance of us having to skip item rooms and whatnot because we get no bloody keys thanks to hard mode. Yeah, my salty about something today. It's nowhere near food time, so we shouldn't have any disturbances in that sense. And we're still not at the boss either. Now, we're not getting any bombs. The keys are great though. Having five keys on the first floor, like the very first floor, that's amazing. That just shows that the luck foot is working, quite frankly. But there's a tinted rock right there, so I do want to get a bomb. Oh, that'll catch it. That, that should catch that tinted rock. Nice! So we have a bit of damage. I'm still not sure what pull that rerolls from if you were to reroll it, although... You'd have to be a braver person than me to reroll small rock, because it's just, it's just good. There, there's no downside. It used to slow you down, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore. Don't be the hunt. Alright, it's the Widow that's actually quite dangerous, but has less HP, so that's fine. Now you might be saying, why aren't you taking the pill? I'm not taking the pill in case it's something like health down. I am that worried about something screwing up really bad here. Yeah, you spawn the harder spiders, which is irritating. Why have you not hit me? Yeah, I was going to say that. That was going to happen. I'm amazed it didn't happen instantly. It's first floor though, so it doesn't matter. HP, I'll take it. So now we are just Isaac. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I'm going back for that heart now. I am not taking any chances. We sadly didn't get any bombs, so I can't get that other tinted rock and I can't look for the other secret room and we don't have quite enough money to warrant going into the shop. We didn't end up using the D6, but just... Sorry, I'll take that off the screen. We didn't end up using the D6, but just having it. Is so promising. It's almost like I started as Isaac, just with slightly different benefits and negatives, that's all. So yeah, hopefully it'll come into play. Or, you know, the game just could give me good stuff. Like, for example, a basement? Yeah. Alrighty. I can't remember if I need boss rushes, Kane. I should have paid more attention when I was selecting him, just in case we, we like, get really, really carried. I don't think... No, I actually, maybe I do need him. There's, like, four characters I haven't done hard mode boss rush with yet. I'm fairly proud of that. <laughs> not what I was just saying, in case you're only listening, not watching. What I just did with my shots to bounce a bomb into an enemy that they'd laid. So, Sloth, that means we're getting a tarot card. Or, or we could get a reroll item. Ooh, Joker card. Two of spades doubles our bombs. Hold on to it for now. I thought I'd memorised it as well, and I haven't. I totally haven't. 
Oh, we're either getting 12 keys or 4 bombs if I use it now. I'll wait and see if I find a tenant rock first. Happy with that. Yeah, come get some. Come get some. I, oh, I see a tenant rock. So I'm going to use it now. It was keys, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that was not a tenant rock. What the hell? Why did I think that was a tinted rock? Well, you're getting re-rolled. Yeah! That's, um, that's a quad shot. Rare item for me. I think I've had it outside of challenge runs, but I could be wrong. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. Yeah, why did I think that was a tinted rock? Actually, you know what? Let's just, um, gloss over that I thought something was a tinted rock that wasn't. And focus more on the fact that I've got quad shot. So we do have a tinted rock. I've already taken damage, though, right? Or have I? No, I haven't taken damage. I could, though. Bog of Bombs is pretty nice. The reroll is good as well. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. I can get more money, though. There's a heart in there, so these don't count. Oh! Well, then. Do I take the Nun's Habit? Do I take Bog of Bombs? Or do I take the Battery, the Spirit Heart, and the Key? Shit. You might be thinking, well, what's the point? Well, the Spirit Heart increases my chances of, of uh, deal with Devil on this floor by protecting my red HP. Although, speaking of which, that should get it still there in case there's a secret room. Alright, we don't need the Spirit Heart anymore, but that still bo um, leaves the question, do I want Nun's Habit or Bog Off Bombs? Bombs are an issue, but having the Nun's Habit would give me more rerolls. There's also the possibility that I just need the battery because what we'll get is crap. Actually, we're not going to have a reroll ready, so I kind of want the reroll. It's a shame the blood bank blew up so early. Damn shame. I'm going to have to buy the battery. I have to. I don't even have a bomb, though, to break the donation machine. Ah, crap. Oh, two of diamonds. I hadn't used two of diamonds. I thought I'd already used it. My god. Right, so we want the battery. Sadly, we're still shy of buying both of these. I'll take the non-tabit, just so if I get hit, I get quicker charges. Um, I'll wait, because Pageant Boy might drop, and you might be thinking, well, why don't you just reroll Pageant Boy? Well, if I get a deal with the devil, I might want to use my reroll there. So let's just see what happens after we kill this boss. It's Dingo. Rear boss for me. I'm going to spit. Gonna spit again and summon. Oh, I walked into his shop. That's Spirit Heart, though. That's just Spirit Heart. Why did I drop a penny when I got hit there? I didn't pick up Fanny Pack. It's weird. Alright, the crate is actually good. And you know what? Both these items are good as well. I'm not taking Guppy's Fall with me, though, so we do still want to use a reroll in here. Contract from Below is astonishingly good. Gabby's Paw we don't want to use because I want to reroll, uh, rather spend hearts on deals with the devil. So we'll reroll that. Ceremonial robes also great. This is spiraling pretty quick, and we'll just pick this up. You get at least one penny from this every time. The broken onk or swallowed penny. I think we'll just leave the broken onk take swallowed penny because we're getting into our shops thanks to having so many keys, and now we don't need to worry about our choice. That thumbnail Dragonac has just said to me on Steam. I don't know what he's talking about. Now, if I did lose one more red heart, I could have went into that boss trap room, but oh well. So yeah, we'll buy Bog Off Bombs. And say that this was an exceptionally good floor. The Lover's Card is, you know, it's a bit meh, but everything else... Oh, we have one bomb. There is a fairly obvious place for a secret room, given that it wasn't where I see it. I think it's below the item room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to check, because we have enough transient health anyway. What is Maya pissed off at today? I don't know. Was there? Be good. Eh, well I have so many keys. I'll play you four times. That's all you're getting and I wish I could have killed you. I actually meant five. Five keys, six keys for a payout. Fuck you, you deserve to die. That is why you never ever play the key beggars. Never. Their payout rate needs to be adjusted if anyone wants to play them. I mean, fine, if you have skeleton key, whatever, you might as well. But no, they are awful. Good floor. It went a bit slow because I had to keep on going back and forwards thinking about what I was doing. But yeah, from a strength perspective, an item perspective, really, really good. Can of combs. Curse room, we'll go in. 
Alright, we made back what we lost. Well, kind of. I'd prefer to have the black heart, to be honest. Ah. Do we have fanny pack? Why am I dropping money when I get hit? Or is that a downside to contract from below I've just never noticed? Oh, I should probably hit this fire, yeah, so it doesn't hit me. Or is that swallow? Oh, right, hang on, no, that's swallowed penny. It doesn't just give you the money, it spits it out. So that's a good reroll pedestal. Let's use it once anyway. And it gave us a bad trip out. All the more reason to reroll into Leo. All right. That has it as some advantages. It means we can stomp rocks like this and maybe find a 2D bit. Alright, we can two-shot them. That's pretty good. And we should still have more than enough rooms to do something on this floor reroll-wise. Maybe only one more, though, so I have to be a bit cautious where I use it. We can break mushrooms as well, however, they have a chance of hurting you. So it's a little bit of a, a risk. I get sniped. Use the invincibility! There, I used it on one of them. I mean, I'm so tempted to just walk into those, but they can explode. It's fairly common for the mushrooms to explode. If I had temporary invincibility, like the goat hoof or whatever it's called. Thank you, contract from below. Of course, the outcome of both those chests were identical thanks to it. Oh, we got hit. Of course, that worked towards building up our reroll again. Thank you very much. We have the potential on this run to get really, really powerful. Not in there we don't. I'm ready for my... Very nearly. I'm ready for my item room, please. Or boss. Either or. Hmm. Oh, that rune could be big. If I find the ability to fly, I have to come back here. It's not worth the HP cost right now. But if I get the ability to fly, definitely go back. That's either Jera or Perthro, I think. No, Perthro is a different shape. It's either Jera or Hagalaz, I believe. Hagalaz is garbage, especially when you have Stompy anyway. But Jera would be very interesting. We'll go into our shop. We have plenty of keys. Quite a lot of cash. So that's Hive Mind. Hmm. I'll think on it. I'll see how much money we get and then go back. So we found our boss before we found our item room. Oh, I thought he was dead. Okay, well that's good. Now we know where our secret rooms are. And we have one for the next floor. So let's actually go to them first. Why? Because if it's got an item pedestal in the second, uh, first secret room... Oh, that's okay. I want to reroll the item room... Uh, rather than the item pedestal in the secret room rather than the boss. Just because I want the chance at skeleton key. That's essentially all all it is. Joker card. Two of hearts. There's nothing essentially. I'll blow up those three mushrooms with a bomb. See what I mean? That would have damaged me if I had just walking into them. Oh, we're so close to the item room. Let's have a look. We're not going to generate another reroll anyway, so... Get this on the way out. Right, it hasn't got the outward sticking demon tail, so it's not Scorpio. That means it's either Capricorn, which is all stats up, or the other one. By which I mean Virgo, when it gives you the bow. Alright, try and memorise that. Virgo, 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 gives you the bow. We have a bit more money now as well. Was that always three keys in here? Or is it just me? Did that change? <laughs> anyway, boss is. Dark one. Okay, dark one is easy. Sorry, I mean, I didn't mean to lower your self-esteem or anything like that, but you are, you are pretty easy, especially when compared to the adversary, which is basically just you getting out of the infirmary a bit early to try and get revenge. Oh, we have PhD now, thanks to this, right? Thanks to Virgo. I should go back and check that pill. Tears Up is better... It's good enough, rather. I was going to say it's better than something, but it's, it's better than a lot of things. Yeah. So, yeah, Virgo is PhD effect confirmed. So there was a pill in here as well, right? That's still bad gas. But we now have balls of steel pill in our rotation instead of bad trip. Yeah, I mean, if we become guppy, this will pay off. 
It's a shame I don't have one more penny. Apparently I left money in the curse room and that room up there. Hang on a minute. I know what the curse room one will be. That'll be because I got hurt on the way out, so it dropped money thanks to Swallow Penny. But what about that other room? Why didn't I pick that up? Could I not get to it? Ah, right. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave that half-price spirit heart, which is a bit irritating. I'm going to use a bomb here because, again, we have uh, Stompy, so I don't need to worry about tenant rocks. I can just walk into them. It's another bad gas pill. Hooray! At least we're going down to the next floor with another Anzus rune, so we're going to know where all our secret rooms are and the lay of the land. This was also a productive floor. Also slow, but still productive. Didn't end up using the reroll, but that's fine. Open, please. Oh, you have to move to make it open? Pretty much guaranteed too slow for boss rush. Three floors in five minutes is not likely. Goddamn spiders. At least I'm firing faster. Oh, and this right. At least I'm firing faster now, thanks to getting the wire coat hanger. Nothing wrong with the tears up, because usually I bank on getting something better. Good. We know there's a free reroll in there. Get rid of the bats. Two hits, kill them. We haven't had any damage up since. Well, tears up is technically a damage up, it's DPS up. But we haven't had a normal, you know, it's just straight damage up since getting small rock. Need to try and work on that. Might as well avoid the rooms I don't require yet because otherwise I'm just wasting reroll potential. So yeah, we'll head to the item room and see if I need to use anything in there. Oh, nearly, nearly. Four bombs is very helpful, thank you. Come on, give me a 2D bit. I get them so rarely. Because I never get any bloody bombs on hard mode to risk looking for them, that's why. Shouldn't have went after a champion first. I'll take that tinted rock though, thanks. Oh, there. Get him, get him. Oh. Oh, that's got a bomb in it. <laughs> I made back what I lost from my stupidity, but that was still very, very stupid. Pinky Shears is great, but not in a run where I'm running with the D6. Reroll. Yes. Yes, a million times. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to go get that battery. Because there's enough rooms for me to earn another legitimate one. Reroll, that is. Oh, quadruple scythe. Yes. The damage up is very slight, but size though. <laughs> Always good fun. Uh, yeah, I need to clear this room. No, I don't. I will clear this room though. So how many does it take to kill them? Two. I think it was still taking two before, so that just shows Death's Touch is not a good damage up. It's just a uh, credibility, not cred. Yeah, street cred. I throw size out my eyes. Four of them at once. It's like I'm just firing a moor at someone. Money's appreciated, of course. Get. Oh, right. Stompy. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Petrified poop. We're getting to the stages where poop is less worthwhile. Speed up. Good. Can I just crush the poop? Yeah, I can. Hmm. Hey, I'm glad I'm one-shotting them. These will be identical. Actually, no, they weren't. That's weird. Half price black candle is an instant pickup on hard mode. Don't say otherwise. There's a battery in there if I can find one more penny as well. So we're actually sitting on two rerolls. So if I line this up with this door, this should be correct. Good. Good, good, good. And please have combat. Good. That'll give us the reroll for the boss slash deal with devil. Let's see who we've got. The hollow. Easy. <laughs> Pageant boy might be worth picking up. Uh, we're Guppy. Oh, wait. I'm one. It's a shame. I wanted to pick up all three, but I have to go for Guppy here. Dragon is Seriously. You can see I'm playing Rebirth. You know I do a series on Rebirth. Come on now. <laughs> 
Oh, that's such a shame. We're guppy though, so I cannot complain. Pageant Boy, I'm just going to reroll it. I was going to take it because there's a good chance there'll be high um, denomination coins because of our luck stat. I don't think it matters now. I think we've had our good items from shops. Now, where was that charge? It was up here, but I don't want to go through that room because it's the bullshit room. Shouldn't have done that. I believe there's a half price spirit heart I can buy as well, right? Thanking you. We'll swing by the shop on the way back. Not that way. Not that room. That is the bad room. We don't go in the bad room and we don't speak of the bad room. So yeah, if you were playing along in this scene and you thought Pageant Boy was worth picking up in case you can pick up something else decent from a shop, I don't think you're wrong. And you might be entirely right if we reroll this into something worse. It's a rain jump. It's technically not... <laughs> it's, it's technically not bad, I suppose. I needed a bit more range. I hadn't had a range up yet. So now we're firing across the room. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. And yeah, I'm not doing two floors in... That was bad damage. In one minute, five seconds. So goodbye, boss rush, even though this is definitely a run that's strong enough to do it. Hello, Tammy's head. Oh, that's so tempting to just take with me. I might be saying goodbye to the D6 on this floor. I know we have one more floor of, like, um, deals with devil and item rooms and what have you, but Tammy's head plus size is so good. I'll see. I still want to use the reroll on this floor, though, so let's just get on with this one, try and clear it nice and quick. Dragon is seriously. <laughs> Don't make me pause this run to tell you that I'm recording. You should know. Oh, the steel, thank you very much. Pheromones. Hey, it didn't work on them. Shenanigans. Bunk em. That was a very quick mob trap room. So far it's a linear floor as well, pretty much. Oh, I can break the skulls, what am I doing? Yeah, we're not fast enough for boss rush. Stop trying to go fast, there's no point. Sun card we'll just use because there's no point for the HP. Stars card will let us cut some rooms out. Oh, I'll go back for that. The wafer is not worth re-rolling for absolutely sure. So good. So very, very good. Right, wait until the room's over before smacking these things open. There we are. That's exactly why. Oh, that run, that rune rather could be big. Never mind. Oh, it can kill them. I actually thought it wasn't strong enough. So we're super, super powerful. There is basically no chance that this is going to be a loss now. Unless I do something crazy like reroll my run and it turns crappy. There's a possibility of that, but I don't really want to because, as I say, the whole point of this run was making sure my bad luck streak was broken and I actually went over six again for the first time in ages. Did I need to go back for anything else? Oh yeah, Tammy's head. Right, but I think I want to take Tammy's head with me, so let's just go to the boss, use the reroll there. I assume the last shop is on the way. Joker card. We'll take one. Go use this. I'm amazed it's not Krampus, to be honest. We'll take Headless Baby because it's just flat out good and we'll take those. Oh! And then take those. Alright, so there's our last shop. Down, well, it doesn't really matter which way we go, we still have to clear the lower room. Almost got enough. For, oh, I should have I should have broke those. I hate these because they're not affected by how damaging you are, I think. I think it's just down to how many times you hit them. Wow, swimming in black hearts here. Why didn't I just use that? <laughs> Shut up, that's why. Agreed? No, Pandora's box. So uh, I think this is a good floor to use that on, actually. So if I get money, I'll go back. When I pay out, petrified poop. Nice. But we will just do the boss since we're here. It's Gish. I actually like Gish, so I don't want to reroll that. Oh, and we've seen her deal with the devil as well. Yeah, I, I like Gish. I don't think there's any reason to reroll that. And we emptied this place out. Yes, we did. I could reroll Pandora's box, or I could buy it and just reroll what Pandora's box drops. I think this is the floor where it drops an item. Nope, this is the floor where it's four spare hearts. Damn it. That was a waste. Do I reroll Tammy's head or do I take Tammy's head? I think I'm just going to take Tammy's head. I think that gives us the damage where we need it to be. We didn't see our second secret room this time. So I'm just going to blow him up because I don't like him. That's what you get. Oh, 
didn't actually mean to touch that, but still. Range up is fine. Good. Yeah, I'm just going to take Tammy's head. Tammy's head plus sides is fun. It's not got a charge because I used it in the room to test it, but that's okay. Let us go down and have a little conversation with Mom. And now the latter half of this run is going to speed up. Definitely. We've got the wafer as well, so I don't even need to worry about the later floors. It's ridiculous. This seed is just very, very generous. Very generous. Let's do this. It's a shame I don't have a Emperor card. We'll have a look in here. Not really worth it. There's one final shop. I'm still going to go in it even though I have no money and probably still won't by the time we find it. Just because I want it to be greed. Just to kill him for the fundies. Joker? Wow. Yeah, we'll take a bad one for the damage more so than anything else. Plus it just puts us right back at cap anyway. I think we've had all the good curse items so I don't need to go in here actually. I'm just, I'm just going in anyway. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm aware this means I won't get Polaroid invincibility when I um, get the Polaroid. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really, really doesn't. Plus it means I can play him once. Now I would get Polaroid invincibility, so ner ner. That's mom, but we have an item room to find first. And I do want to see it. I don't want to pass up an item room even though we are strong. So let's just annihilate the rooms. Like so. That is not where any of my special rooms are. Hmm. Secret room could be there. By which I mean, of course it's not going to be there. Why would it be? <laughs> oh, the scythes from Tammy's head also cause fear. That's fun. Item room? No. What did I tell you about going fast though? We're, we're doing the entire floor and it's taking like a minute. Oh, need to steer around you guys. Uh, how did I get hit? Oh, who cares? <laughs> two of diamonds we'll just use now. Two of diamonds we'll just use now. The hermit would just take us to the shop. I'm pretty certain it's greed. We have to go back that way anyway, so... Ooh, half price, there's options. It's too late in the game for it to be useful, to be honest, but whatever, I'll take it anyway. I was going to say, that's not 2.0, that's just, yeah, that's just Robo Baby. That's fine too. And we'll just donate the rest of this if it'll let me. Alright, took it all. All nine pennies of it. Amazing. I'm going back. <laughs> this matters. I, I so rarely get to donate as much as I like. Alright, 611. Didn't mean to use that key, but it doesn't really matter. I could clear the rest of the floor, but really, what's the point? Ooh, Emperor card's going to speed things up nicely. Now, do I use it on the wound floor, or do I save it from the cathedral? That's a good question. Whoops. Oh, I could have played him a bunch more as well, but never mind. That went pretty well, apart from not getting to deal with the devil, but thankfully we had that Joker card, so who cares? Down we go. If I find a better card, then using the Emperor early would be fine. Go through the big room, I guess. It's always the big rooms, isn't it? Oh, you poor sods. <laughs> Blast assist, no more. Look at the fl I forgot I picked up Hive Mind as well, so my flies are gigantic. The world, sure. So the secret room has to be it's there then, right? There's a dice room. I'm not going to the dice room. This is too good. This is staggering levels of power. And there's a mini boss as well. The mini boss I will go for, though. Yes, come to me, Diglets. Face my sides! Through here, another big room. Oh, it's this one with all the gurglings and girly juniors. Oh, no, wait, no, one junior. Right, mini boss, Envy? Bet you're envious of that. Store credit, this guy is just store credit, right? Yeah, doesn't matter. No shops left. Curse room we will not bother with. Two keys I will. They matter in the chest. We picked up Guppy's tail right as one of the guppy items. Our boss is Teratoma. You poor sod. You poor, poor sod. Uh, yeah, I won't be taking experimental treatment, thanks very much. So, you know what? There's options did pay off. That's a tenet rock. I was going to say, we haven't fought Krampus yet. It has to be Krampus. He gave us the good drop, though. Well, I don't need pet fight poop at this point. I'll take umbilical cord. Real quick. This has spiralled out of control. 
beyond my wildest imagination. Oh look, it's this room that I usually always take damage in. Not today. Thank you for the keys. Oh, I should have went the big room route, probably. Sometimes there's just no point using Tammy's head anyway. This is not one of those occasions, there we are. It's disappointing I still managed to get hit there, but I can use the invincibility to my advantage, I suppose. And of course we have the wafer, so it's just half damage anyway, so who cares? Uh, was there a tent drop back there? I think there might have been. Wow, that's a lot of flies. Like, a lot of flies. That was not a tent drop back there. And this is not the way to the boss, that's annoying. Give me my boss, I'm ready. Up here. That probably should have hit me. Um, just kill you. That might actually be useful because I'm actually walking into a lot of stuff, so it'll make the blocks pay out with things. It doesn't really matter at this point. The only trinket I would guarantee take, other than library cap, is curved horn. Just for more damage. But we don't need it. Wait, this isn't the way either? 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 Neither? Okay, so you're down there then. Yes, I'm aware I missed a penny back there. Oh, my health up pill. Eh. Hopefully I'll find a joker card. Poor, poor sods. Nah. Well, that'll be funny actually, so sure. Sorry, Loki. You're not going to have fun. I think Steven's facial expression there, or sorry, little Steven, is basically the facial expression of the game right now. It's, it's confused, sad, worried, and in danger of being spanked. Thank you for covering that damage. Put your head up. It lives! No, it does not. No, no, it does not. And we're going straight to Isaac. Boom. Mwah! Straight to final form. Go, my flies, go. Isaac, done. Cathedral done without getting it. There we go. So, what will the chest give us today? Anti-grav tears. That's interesting. Black Bean is not. Mongo Baby, meh. Count the Cross is fine. I'll take anti-grav tears just so I have controllable, you know, psychic sides. Just... Oh, they go in sets of four as well. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's better or worse for their damage, to be honest. Oh, I forgot that did that to um, Tammy's head as well. That's actually better. It's now like a meat grinder before splitting apart. Shouldn't have used it there. Should have waited. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Walk into this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I enjoy that. Now, come on, just give me a few more items just to be ridiculous. <laughs> you survived just because you were a wimp and hid on the other side of the room. Not the right way. When people see how long this episode is, they'll think it's an Azazel worm. Put it that way. That's how well this is going. If you need a feel-good seed as well, just one to play that lets you feel satisfied and you've kicked the game's arse, I highly, highly recommend this one. I'm sure I did do the seed, but on the off chance I didn't, there it is again. Ooh, all the wraths in the world ever. Big rooms are actually a bit harder for Tammy's head to do work because it can't quite stretch to the outer limits. Everything except chests. Two devil cards. Well, that's more damage. Excuse me, that's not hitting you? Well, that certainly did. Sure, just for funsies. Oh, I thought you were dead. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, 
That's what's done in 35 minutes. I could clear the floor. I'm going to clear the floor real quick. It's not going to take long. Just so this is a bit longer. Yeah, sure, just walk into him. I, I don't really care. It's not giving me items, though. That's the irritating thing. Did I not pick up... Why didn't that hurt me? It probably should have. Did I not pick up the tail as one of the guppy items I got? I got nine lives, but I think that was after I was already guppy, right? I could have sworn the only one I didn't get was the hairball. Oh, it hit me that time. Yeah, there's a couple of rooms up here I didn't clear. Might as well, just to try for some items. I don't think I can get any items from doing this that I haven't already had in my uh, collection, but I'll still do it. <laughs> oh, that's two items right there. My reflection, I think I might break it, but sure. How does that work with the Tammy's head? Oh, it kind of... It kind of flies around diagonally after me before firing. Don't give me entirely empty rooms. What is this? Oh, it follows me! It's like a gigantic psychic scythe! Sure, the virus. Um, there might be... There's a couple more rooms. The secret room wasn't there. That's the only other room I'm really concerned about because that can have something in it that I still need. Could also be there. Not there either. Where the hell is my secret room? Use a bomb there by accident. Alright, there's a couple more places it could be. Could be here. And it has greed in it. Alright, well, oh, there could be a 2D bit in here actually. A small rock being out, or sorry, lucky rock. Last room, sorry, but it has to end here. I'm just going to walk into it. I had a lot of fun with this one, though. This is a really, really good seed if you just want to experience raw power. So I highly recommend, recommend it. And if you enjoyed, please do consider leaving a like. Yeah, that's right, I just walked through the red room without even caring. Red poop room, rather. Big whip, want to fight about it? I hope you enjoyed once again. And I shall see you next time for more gaming stuff. Subscribe if you want to see it daily. Ta-ta, for now.